Hello. This is going to be a quick demonstration of Trust Grid Zero Trust Layer 3 Network Access. In this demo, we're going to see an example DevOps user first authenticate to the Trust Grid ZTNA portal, and after a successful authorization, we'll see the Trust Grid cloud send down the pertinent user, public key, and location information to the Trust Grid gateway, where the DevOps user will subsequently open up a VPN tunnel and access a remote server. We're going to start off in the Trust Grid uh, administrative portal. This is where Trust Grid administrators would be configuring things like Trust Grid nodes, virtual networks, as well as zero trust applications as we're going to be doing in this case. So we're going to click on the applications panel. We see that there's three zero trust applications already configured, including an SSH application to a uh, Ubuntu server. We're going to now create another application um, that provides layer three access using WireGuard uh, to the same server. I'm going to give this application a name a description. I'm going to select the Trust Grid node or cluster that is running the Trust Grid WireGuard service. Select the identity provider the users will be forced to authenticate against, as well as the virtual network that we're going to provide access to. And we'll give a session duration that defines how long before users will be forced to re-authenticate. In this case, five minutes. And last, we'll select an icon the users will see in their portal. Next, we're going to configure who can actually access this application. Under Access Policy, we'll give it a minimal access rule, basically just allowing our demo user access. So we're going to allow anyone in the demo IDP group in our G Suite to access this application. Under Visibility, we select who can actually see this application inside of their end user portal. And under Allow Destinations, we're going to uh, specify which network resources can actually be accessed using this um, access entry. In this case, we're going to provide SSH access to a server. As well as ICMP access, so that we can ping it. All right, now that we have a minimal access policy, we're going to move over to the end user portal. This is a separate portal from the administrative portal. Um, it has a separate login, and the users that log into this portal um, are the ones that are actually going to require uh, this ne uh, these network zero trust apps, such as DevOps personnel. Log in with our demo user. And here we go. Um, so first, we need to configure our new application for this user. We're going to enter in the public key of the WireGuard uh, tunnel entry that this user has for his client. Grab that from right here, public key, enter it, and save. Now, before using the WireGuard application, we're going to first uh, use our normal SSH in browser Zero Trust app to verify the server is up and running. And we can see that it is. There we go. So now, First, we're going to verify that we don't have direct access to this machine at the moment. If we try to SSH to it, uh, we can see there's just nothing there. So now let's go activate this WireGuard application. If we click on it, the user will be re-authenticated, and we can see now that we can use this WireGuard uh, access app. So now let's go to our WireGuard tunnel here. Activate it. You can see we successfully got a handshake. And now we can successfully log into the server directly using our SSH client. Now, when using layer theory, in addition to just normal SSH login, we could do things also such as SCPing a file over to the server.
can see we successfully copied it. Let's check over here. And we can see it was successfully copied over. Now the Trust Grid Portal Administrative Portal provides some observability features that we're going to look at now. Um, if we click on Sessions, we can see which uh, if there are any active sessions. Here we see the current active session that we uh, just demonstrated. If we go over to the session and start a ping to that server, which should be allowed via our access policy, you can see the ping running. If we go up here and we refresh the session, we can see the bytes sent and received being updated. And if we click on sniff traffic, we can also see all the traffic going across this tunnel. In this case, we can see the ICMP ping going back and forth. If the administrator wishes to terminate this connection for any reason, they can also do that as well within the portal right here. Terminate, and we can see it is no longer running. This has been a quick demonstration of TrustGrid Zero Trust network access for WireGuard. For more information, please visit trustgrid.io.